So continuing the uh, capture it experiment, I completely shorted out the capacitor part of the capture it. And the, I am using, I'm not using a super capacitor anymore. This is just a regular capacitor. Right here is the specs for it. It's a 220 microfarad at 50 volts capacitor. It really doesn't matter as long as it's an electrolytic capacitor. And it is completely shorted out with the green wire. The right wire goes to the negative of the meter. So, and the reason why it's uh, on this uh, board is because I only have one hand free, and the meter is there as a weight, so I can push against the top and give you a uh, measurement readings. And it's in the uh, millivolt area, but still, it's something to point out. So I'm just going to tap the top of it. Is that 14.0? Okay. So 14.0 was coming out of the top of that capacitor. That's 14 millivolts coming directly out of that top of the capacitor. And that's amazing because it's completely shorted out. But if you let it rest, it was at 14.0. So what is it now? 16.320 okay if you let it sit for a while it gains a charge it kind of acts like an electret that's why I call it the captret so it was at first at 14 and going down because the meter itself was acting like a load and as a load it will go down but you let it sit it builds up a charge that's pretty uh, interesting stuff <laughs> Especially when you consider the capacitor itself is completely shorted out. So, where is this energy coming from? It's a very good question. I really think it might be coming from the capacitor maybe tapping the zero point energy field. I don't know, but it's really interesting tidbit to study. Yep, it self-charges. Amazing stuff, isn't it?